and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to be going over the Saturday Legends. Can you believe that? We got Saturday Legends. It didn't say anything as far as I know. But I come onto the game, and there's Legends. So, I had another video planned for you guys. I had just finished making it. It was about to go up. Good thing I didn't click upload. I would have, I really, really regretted it because I had a video to make. So, I did drop Saturday Legends, the typical style blue Legends, old Legends that we got every Saturday. I guess it was because there was only four NFL 100 wide receivers they uh, made yesterday last night. So, I guess they wanted to substitute something for Saturday. Now, I don't know if this was planned or not, or they just did the last minute. But we did get them. EA didn't really tweet them out. At least I don't think I'm blocked by them. But I didn't see anyone else tweet them out, which typically I would have seen by now. But it's pretty cool. I don't know if there's an LTD yet. We got to go check it out by the title. You guys will probably know by now. But, guys, before we get into the video, remember to do 25 days of Poodmas. So, all you gotta do to enter these giveaways, as per usual, is like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below the secret word, and your console. And by the way, guys, I've decided to announce the winners for the last two days that I'm behind on. I'm gonna be just be posting on the community tab page on my YouTube channel, so just stay tuned, checking that throughout the day. I'll probably do that around, like, 4 p.m. I'll probably announce them all, so stay tuned there. Now, guys, as far as Legend goes... I was kind of surprised. I mean, let's see if they... Did they drop an NFL Legend Fantasy Pack or just, just the NFL? No, they did drop an 8x Legend Fantasy Bundle. And they put a Mon Green, the new one, on the cover. That's pretty cool. I was not expecting this at all. So let's go over to the Solos. That's where I initially saw it. I had no idea until I went over to the Solo Challenges and I saw it over there. It's kind of surprising, too, because they pretty much said that they were stopping all content for the majority of the month. Besides, like, Frozen, NFL 100, and all that stuff. So kind of surprising stuff. So we go over to Legends, and you come over, you can see... See, it's funny, because they say Week 18, and then Week 19. They went right over to there, and they just continued as if it never stopped. So, Amon Green and Jesse Tuggle are the brand new ones. Now, I'm checking Mudhead real quick to see if they are posted yet, and they are not. So, we have to wait for that. Now, let's go check the auction block. So, Amon Green's a halfback for the Green Bay Packers, and Jesse Tuggle was a middle linebacker for the Atlanta Falcons. So, we're going to have a new linebacker, a new running back. Now, I've always really liked Amon Green. He's always been a little bit on the slower side, but he's always been, like, a really good power back. I'm pretty sure. Again, Madden is really good. They've, they've made their stats a lot better this year in terms of the way they go about making sure that we can actually use a lot of the cards they make. So I don't think I'm not entirely disappointed if they I make mean, if Mon Green doesn't have to be slow. Here we go. He's up 94 overall halfback for the Green Bay Packers. Now let's go check out his stats. First one up right here. I'm actually going to let's do this real quick, just in case. Now Amon Green, 94 overall halfback. Let's see his stats. Really cool card art. It's 93 speed, so great speed. That's NFL 100 speed right there. So that's solid. 93 acceleration, NFL 100 excel. 91 agility, 89 carrying, all solid. 75 catching is really not bad at all. 86 elusive, 93 trucking, and 92 break tackle. This is a solid running back. I'm not even going to lie. Very solid running back. His strength is an 84, another solid stat. Uh, let's see, awareness 90, carrying 89. Jumping's 90, trucking's 93, elusiveness 86. Stiff arm 91. Can he get arm bar? Is that his thing? That'd be pretty cool if he can get arm bar with that speed. Hold up. I definitely just passed all the juke and spin, didn't I? Uh, okay, so spin, no spin, but he does have an 89 juke. So if by any chance he could have gotten evasive and arm bar, this would have been a really good card. But if he can't get jukebox, though, that's not bad. This is kind of like Jim Brown, but faster. 92 break tackle. Let's compare it to my Barry Sanders real quick. Let's see. So compared to Barry, he's got worse speed by one, but that's because he's powered up. So normally they have the same speed. Two less excel, four less agility. That's not bad. Carrying better by two. Catching better by four. Loosening this way worse. But the trucking is a big difference. He has plus 23 trucking. He could probably get like bruiser or arm bar, which really isn't that bad. Considering. That's not that's not bad at all. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Mr. Mon Green is really, really, really solid. He's a really good card. The only concern with this Amon Green is what abilities he can get. If he can get Jukebox and Armbar, he's going to be one of the best running backs in the game because Jim Brown was considered one of the best. Like People liked him. If his speed was a little bit better, it would have been cooler. But Jim Brown was up there just because he could get a evasive or Jukebox and he can get a, he can get a power back ability. So if, if Amon Green can get like Armbar or like Bruiser and he can get Evasive or not even probably evasive, maybe just Jukebox powered up, that's going to be a really, really great running back. Going to be a really solid option. Let's see what his break, his break tackle is 92, which is really, really good. See, I don't know. He definitely seems like a dick. He's like Dickerson, but if he can get the power abilities and the evasive ability, like something like that, 
a juke and power ability he can definitely be just as good as eric dickerson if not better the only the only actually the only difference that he's going to have that's going to hurt him a little bit in terms of can he be as good as eric dickerson is going to be the awe uh, that he can't get the nfl 100 for a train that eric dickerson starts the game with and keeps for a while that's the only difference so eric dickerson will end up being better but stat wise amon green is not that far behind in terms of what he could probably potentially do he's really great excel really good so he's gonna have a 94 speed 94 excel powered up that's really solid I really like that Amon Green. Now, let's refresh this real quick to see if we have another card we can look at. Jesse Tuggle is up. 94 middle linebacker for the Atlanta Falcons. Remember, he was a theme diamond. So, if you guys are wondering why he might sound familiar, he was a theme diamond at one point in Madden when they first dropped. So, it's pretty good back there. So, he's got 88 speed, 88 excel, 87 strength, 94 tackle, 91 play rec, 92 block shot, 92 hit power, 69 zone. So, this card reeks of Ray Lewis. Same exact thing. I just sold by Ray Lewis, so I can't really compare. 88 speed, just like Ray Lewis. 88 Excel, just like Ray Lewis. The strength's a little bit lower. 94 tackles, amazing. 91 play wrecks, amazing. 92 blocks, amazing. 92 hit power. 69 zone. This is Ray Lewis 2.0. I could not stress that anymore. Let's see. 87 agility is decent. 91 awareness. Let's see what it is. Jumping is 84. A little bit low for my liking. Impact block, 90. Block shedding, 92. Pursuit, 93. Zone 69, we knew that. Stamina 94. Stamina is important, guys. When you're using linebackers, trust me, you might not think so, but you know how many times I've been using a linebacker just running around the field using and the next play, my 60 overall backup comes in. Luckily for me, I now have a decent backup, so it won't affect me as much. But trust me, it's brutal the next play when your 65 overall Jatavius Murray comes in and he's just like so slow and you just get cooked. Or you see a run and you're running at it and you're just too slow to do anything. You know, you'll notice it eventually. So this is Jesse Tuggles. Compared to one of my middle linebackers, see how he stacks up. So against 94 Shazier. Shazier is faster and better excel, but Tuggle has better strength, better tackle, same play rec, better block shot, better hit power, worse zone. So definitely stacks up as one of the better linebackers in the game. Then against my Devin Bush, it's sad, but Devin Bush actually looks better. Devin Bush is better hit power, better zone, better speed, better excel. That's the beauty of Devin Bush. Devin Bush, says he doesn't play around. He doesn't need the other stats. He gets it. For a user linebacker, he has every stat. A user linebacker, you want insane hit power, insane speed, insane excel, insane jumping, insane zone. Literally all you care about. And ironically, Devin Bush... Is one of the hardest hitting linebackers. He's not even just a hitter. He's one of the hardest hitting linebackers. One of the fastest, if not the fastest linebacker. With the fastest acceleration, like the best jumping. And one of the best zones at linebacker. And it gets even better when you look deep into... Of course, I can't go down. Okay, it's not going to work. When you look deep into the stats, what's it called? Devin Bush has great speed too. On top of it all. I mean, uh, great jumping. But it's not It's not going to let me show it, of course. Because why would it ever let me do that? Yeah, I, I can't go. Oh, because he was already all the way down. All right, so let me show you guys his jump real quick. So Devin Bush has great jumping, which is one of the beauty of his card. Even though he's a little bit tinier, it still helps. 94 jumping. Do you understand that a user linebacker, the reason you, you get you like you look like you're in space to pick something off and you can't get it is usually because your jump sucks. Devin Bush has he has that thing where you can do that bait thing where like you run this way and you turn around quickly and then jump a route. He has that speed and excel to do that. He has the agility to do that. And then he has the jumping in case you're a little off. He, like, makes up for a lot of your mistakes. I really love this Devin Bush, guys. I don't think it's worth its upgrade to Jesse Tuggle. I personally would rather have my Devin Bush and Shazier combo. But if you want a block shedding middle linebacker, which everyone needs, you can either go Tuggle or Ray Lewis. They're kind of interchangeable there. Let's see if their prices are going to adjust if anyone posts any more of these. Yeah, this is a Mon Green solid. I really do like this one. I don't know if there's an LTD yet. Let me just check Mudhead real quick to make sure because... I do not want to put this video as for you guys up until I know if there's going to be. No, I don't think it's an LTD. So I, I assume the NFL 100 is more like the LTD. So let's go check out the store real quick. I just want to reiterate something. I used to reiterate every Saturday video for you guys. And that's if you're going to be opening the packs, don't forget that there's always this two-way slick of these packs. You can buy the 8 bundle and the 89 plus overall legend, which is actually really good there. Like $100. Or for a slightly cheaper price, you can buy two 5 legend fantasy bundles, which means you get 10 packs... You get 10 overall packs, which is two packs more than the eight, and you save money. Now, the only difference is you don't get the 89 plus. And don't get me wrong. When it was an 86 plus, it was like, yeah, you can you bread up going the two. But now, would you rather have pretty much a two two extra Legend Fantasy packs or the almost guaranteed full Legend? Now, it's tough. I don't know. Because before it was an 86 plus, you always got 86s, 87s, 88s, 89s. Now, it's an 89 plus. You're almost guaranteed a full Legend. So, it's really up to you. Now, Legend prices should be pretty cheap today. Just letting you guys know because there's are going to be guaranteed full Legends almost out of that bundle topper. So, people are opening that bundle. You can expect guaranteed full Legends. Now, guys. Um, I don't know what I would do. Personally, between the two, I'm not a big pack opener guy. So, it's up to you. Do you, do you get hit from the topper more or do you get hits from the fantasy bundle more? It's really up to you guys. 
But that is about it for the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Expect like three or four other videos today. Now, by the way, it's 25 days of food miss. All you gotta do is enter is like the video, comment down below your console, subscribe to the channel, and then comment down below the secret word you hear throughout the video. Once you do all those things, you're entered to win, guys. I will be posting a few more videos for you guys. Probably a lineup update, probably a market talk. Stay tuned for all of those. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.